Hi everyone, this is Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs and I have a quick tip for the Leonardo Design Studio software and your cutting results with your settings. Um, I want to first apologize for my voice. It's still not 100%, but I'm going to put this out there. I was doing a video, which a new video, which I'll link in the description below on how to achieve kiss cut settings versus die cut settings. And this is something that is in the software that I want to point out. So on the send tab in Leonardo Design Studio software, you're going to notice that under the cutting presets, there is this blade tool option and your, you have different options here. So you have your Caesar standard blade. This is in reference to the 45 degree blade and the 60 degree blade that are the Caesar blades. These blades are calibrated in the software and the cutting machines, and you don't need to do anything for that. You also have a pen tool drawing. If you are sketching or drawing with a pen or sublimation marker, you want to check that you are using the pen tool. It does make a difference in how the machine works and how the quality of um, the drawing is. If you use it as the standard blade, it doesn't turn out very well. I've done that. So make sure to choose pen tool. If you are using a third party blade that fits inside the Caesar housing, this is where you would set your custom blade setting up because not all blades are the same. So the Caesar standard blades for the 45 degree and the 60 degree are already calibrated into the software in the machine, like I said. If you choose the custom blade setting, you may need to adjust for that in your cuts. And the only way to know this is to test cut and to see what is going to happen. So first I wanna share this. This is the offset, but I'm gonna share something from Patrick at Caesar in the explanation of this offset. So here is the image that Patrick has posted in the Caesar North America Facebook group. So on this image, it explains to you what this offset means. So if you are not getting consistent results, now this is again, not with the Caesar blades. This is if you're using another brand of blade um, my results, I've, I have tested some third-party blades and I found they didn't last as long, but there are blades that you could um, try out there. So if you're having inconsistent cuts, you might wanna take a look at this information. Um, it explains what the offset is. So this is Patrick's words for this diagram. I'm going to, I am reading this, so you're gonna see me look off to the right. Offset is the distance between the middle of the blade shaft to the tip of the blade, as you'll see in this diagram here. This is a numeric value that once put into a cutting plotting system will allow the machine to know how far past a corner to travel so that the blade tip can cut a material accurately. So what you can see on the screen is, and the, on the right hand side of here, if your offset is too low, you will notice the rounded off corners when the intention is a straight 90 degree angle. If the offset is too high, you will notice sharp overcut corners making your squares look like it is growing horns. That is exactly what it looks like in the photo. Now, if your offset is correct, then you will see nice, clean 90 degree angles on all four corners of your square. So if you are using those third party blades in your Caesar machine, then you may need to adjust the offset and do the calibration so that you are getting the perfect 90 degree corners for the blade that you're using. Now, this is the only reason you would need to use the custom blade setting. So if you are Using a Caesar blade, you can just choose the Caesar standard blade. That is for your 45 degree and your 60 degree blades that come with the Caesar Juliet or the Caesar Romeo machine. So if you have more questions on that, leave me a comment below. Again, I'm just sharing this information 
as I ask the questions and get answers to it. So for almost all, if you're using the Caesar blades, just keep it as the Caesar standard blade. If you are using a pen, make sure to change that to the pen tool for the drawing, or you may end up with some interesting corners and things like that. Again, the offset, that's gonna play into that because with your pen tool, you're gonna have a difference there than you would with a cutting tool. So hope those tips have helped. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.